Well, hi there. I'm back. I'm uh, Yuan. I'm the admin of this Maplin group. Uh, this is going to be my second video in hopefully a, a series of videos. Uh, the first with video may, I made was just uh, a quick uh, uh, whistle-stop tour of the Maplin. Now I intend to be slightly more systematic. But I've also recorded a number of patches that shows the variety you can get out of the Maplin, as well as uh, the benefits of uh, uh, me having it run in uh, true stereo. And I can play it duophonically, which uh, that I demonstrated in one of the examples. But I figured uh, one way to do this would be to go through the whole signal chain of the synth, or basic. Uh, Actually, what I'm going to start with today is uh, talking about uh, the power supply, modifications I've done to it, and then I'm going to move on to the oscillators, uh, filters, etc. etc. But um, welcome to this little uh, program about uh, the power supply in the Maplin and what I've done to it. Cheerio! Okay, here we are with the Maplin. I'm going to talk about the power supply in this little clip. So um, out here you can't really tell anything different. I replaced the power switch. No biggie. But we'll get inside and I'll show you what, what I've done. As you can see I also made this little support here so I can have it halfway open and also at a better angle when I work on the synth. Here we are, slightly messy inside, but uh, I hope it'll be possible to see what I want to show you. Uh, first of all, as you can see, it's not the ori original transformer. Uh, it got fried at one point, so I, instead I replaced it with this uh, Velleman toroid transformer. It has uh, 2 times 15 volts, 2.66 amps on each part of it. Uh, I can write the, well, the type number is uh, 8015 from Velleman, uh, which of course is a German company. And that may be the parts number there on the side there, 872094. Uh, but uh, there are definitely advantages of a toroid transformer because they have less of a uh, magnetic field around them so uh, they're more suitable for audio equipment like this. Then we get to the power supply itself. You may notice that it looks slightly different from yours. Uh, one of the first things I did was add two more 2200 microfarads 25 volt condensers uh, and that's just to try and uh, smooth out the uh, DC voltage so you won't get any interference. I've also added a few uh, heat sinks. Um, here's the 5 volt regulator. Uh, I added heat sinks and I also put in, uh, I believe these are 
heftier resistors than the original ones. I also I had some problems with the power supply a couple of years ago and I replaced all the semiconductors. Uh, and earlier I also added another heatsink underneath. As you can see I have whoops um, hope you don't get seasick. Uh, but underneath I have this uh, sheet of aluminium that I folded and then I attached it with this uh, heat conductive cement. Uh, so that also helps in cooling it down. Uh, another thing, when I was having these problems with the power supply, I also added this little thing that just shows you if uh, each voltage is running. And as you know, the Maplin has uh, plus and minus 14 volts, plus and minus 7 volts. It has uh, 5 volts uh, reference voltage. And then it also has a uh, a uh, high current 13.4 volt output that powers the, these uh, headphone amplifiers. Um, the only problem I've had actually with the power supply is with the headphone amplifiers. When I crank those, occasionally the, uh, the synth chokes. So you can tell that the, it just, uh, the power supply just it dives down for a second or so. But most of the time it works just fine. So, kind of a bread and butter part, but a very important part of the synth. So, on to the next part. Thanks for watching. Thank you.